Good afternoon. I'm Kim Baez. New concerns about a danger lurking beneath the surface in southeastern New Mexico. A brine well is threatening to collapse, taking homes and businesses with it. That's the city officials in Carlsbad are working very hard to prevent, but will their efforts be enough? News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart has a story. It's been three years since concern was raised over the potential ground collapse of a brine-filled well in Carlsbad. The city was concerned that just wa waiting and watching wouldn't necessarily be the answer. We wanted to be more active and try to uh, come up with a plan that would prevent collapse. And that's still the concern today. Now new test results released by the New Mexico Oil Conservation Division reveal scientists cannot rule out the well will one day collapse. There have been two other instances in Eddy County where the ground has collapsed under similar wells. In those cases, no structures were threatened. But if this cavern were to collapse, it would affect a lot of people. On the other side of the property, there's a church. There's also an RV park on one side, an irrigation canal, and state highway all surround that area. Although the risk is still very serious and affects many residents in Carlsbad, residents here at the mobile home park near Brian Wells say they aren't that concerned. The residents here don't seem to think anything's going to happen. Uh, we don't think it's going to happen. Uh, we were concerned. We are no longer concerned. We just believe that they're going to take care of it and everything's going to be fine. The Fletchers have lived in El Dorado Estates here for six years. Although their home sits on top of ground labeled at risk for potential collapse, the Fletchers say they're not worried. Yes, anything is possible, I, I, but I trust my God. And he says we're going to be fine. <laughs> and that's what I believe. <laughs> That was Gabrielle Burkhart reporting. So far, the city of Carlsbad has spent $1.7 million to re-drill into the cavern and assess possible strategies for preventing a collapse. City officials will meet on Friday to discuss two new studies.